remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. I can see no reason why this gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Very eminent words uh, said over 400, 430 years ago when some individual tried to bring the words of truth, justice and transparency back into society. Uh, unfortunately, his, uh, his aims were unsuccessful on that occasion. And unfortunate because the traitors and the treasonous individuals that still infest these parliamentary areas, both in uh, the German, uh, German cities and the German chancellery in France and in England and throughout the United Nations, are still hell-bent on destroying society as most of us see. So, this is one of the reasons for this short broadcast today, because I just want to alert everybody that things are now coming to a critical stage. If you thought things were bad previous, it looks as if they're getting even worse and faster. So, a fitting analogy would be a canoe that is just about to go over Niagara Falls. It's just coming up to the tipping point. These tipping points can be seen all around you now on what the New World Order agenda uh, Agenda 21 and some other, should we say, uh, criminal agendas brought by the, the global elite have in store for you is to confuse everything and out of the ashes to bring some type of order. Uh, the Masonic uh, phrase or tenet there would be order of cow or order from chaos. You can see this unwinding now in the world markets. Uh, the stock markets are falling and falling fairly consistently now. There's rumours that it's just a short-term correction, but if my money is correct, it's not short-term. We're going to have the Dow going further, further south, and so as soon as it breaks through 15,000, uh, as it hopefully will do, maybe by the end of this week, then all points south are available. That's going to be happening in the UK. It's going to be happening right the way through the European zone because all the pension funds have been raided. The money has been taken away, and so there's nothing in the pot now, so what the criminals are trying to do is burn the house down to cover up the crime. Now, in addition to this, the world markets are coming down. They're trying to blame the communist Chinese or the Russians with the Chinese holding joint military maneuvers. And I think there was a headline the other day in the Financial Times in, in to the effect that it's the Chinese and it's the communists now that are responsible for the fact that your pension fund won't be there for you when you come to collect. Something equally disturbing is the complete trashing of the European Union zone. This has been done very successfully in the United States by opening the borders with Mexico and it's just so no coincidence that it's being done here now in Europe. So the idea is to very, very finally now begin to release uh, these rat run zones so that more and more migrants can flood in from uh, Bulgaria, from Sudan, from Northern Africa and what's happening now is that Angela Merkel has just taken delivery or is expected this year before the end of the year to take delivery of one million migrants. They're all being uh, trained in from uh, places like Bosnia, Herzegovina, um, Southern Italy up to Northern Italy and coming across through the Brenner Pass and being bussed or transported into southern Europe in areas like Rosenheim, which is near to Munich. Uh, next ports of call for them are all places like Calais. And then the big band, uh, the big beating of the band drum now is we must maybe consider closing borders. And why they'll close the borders is to basically bunker you down and then start to corral you or kettle you into, should we say, the next phase of their agenda. So for those people who haven't seen some of the footage, I'll just run through some of the photographs now. Go and have a look at all the migration and now are constantly bombarding you and these migrants are screaming in. I have nothing with the individual, no problem with the individuals at all. It's the fact that they're being brought in as economic migrants under the banner or the auspices of them being also refugees. But refugees from war-torn areas 
that have been deliberately seeded to become that way by monies funded by bankers. So, I'm, I'm sounding the alarm for all those people out there who are minimally aware of what's going on. This is a deliberate, cohesive program of eugenics and genocide and the destabilization, uh, de destabilization of countries throughout Europe with the agenda being the installation of a one-world currency, a one-world global elite, and unfortunately the next phases of it are going to be quite draconian, quite Stalinist, as we have communism meeting fascism, and the end result is sandwich is you with the jam in the middle. So please consider going to re-movement, join it, we will give you protection, we will give you ideas, and we will give you ways out. Okay, so Peter of England saying thank you for listening. Bye-bye.